always wanted to one day be able to get off a bus, just walk out in the streets and take the shots I've always wanted to take. Good balance on the heads, isn't it? Is that your name, Bishwana? It's Chibor. Mark Chala, and I'm Gilkey. She keep on ting. Beautiful colour, certainly. Capturing the attitude and mood is what photography is all about. In the past, I just saw a scene and thought, that's great, I'll take the photo. But now I can see, you know, what makes a great photo. There's got to be a few different elements to it. You've got the foreground, the middle, and the background. Trying to match those up, just seeing things in a different way. I don't know where to look. There's so many games going on. I can't believe people don't get cleaned up. There's balls flying everywhere, but everyone seems to know what's going on. From my personal point of view, I'll do anything for cricket. Like Steve Wong is standing in front of me. I'll show him my every talent. That's what I had. Giving that some. Very pure, the game over here. They love playing the game of cricket. It's just a bat and ball. They make their own stumps out of whatever they can find. But they've got the love of the game. And I've never been able to actually take a photograph of that until this trip. And that's where the idea came from. Just get out there, get amongst it. What is the spirit of cricket? Why is cricket a religion in India? How do you know if he's going to bowl it slow or quick? You don't. Uh, yes, yes. But, I, uh, I, um, you just listen. I listen. It's a tough game, blind cricket. I think it's probably two balls out of 20. We're in danger. Yeah, the young boy, the uh, three year old prodigy, um, look, he's no doubt he's got incredible hand eye coordination. He's definitely going to work on his uh, temperament and concentration, but any three-year-old after a couple of minutes is going to lose, lose focus. <laughs> ah! The bike! The bike! The bike! <laughs> Monks playing cricket, I never thought I'd see that in my lifetime. And with the, uh, the Himalayas as a backdrop, I was amazed by their skill level and their, their toughness. I mean, they were playing on basically a pitch that was up and down and undulating and terrible for batting. And they started playing with rock-hard cricket balls. I'm thinking, someone is going to be seriously hurt here. Like, if there's one of us, we'd be carried off by now. They call it disabled cricket. That's the wrong name. I mean, they were enabled in every way. It was almost like they were doing high jump or pole bolt, and then they were bowling a ball. It was, it was pure artistry and beauty, the way they were bowling. Yeah, I loved uh, interacting with the girl cricketers up at Dharamsala, um, the first women's cricket academy in India. Wanting knowledge, so thirsty to gain knowledge and you know, when, when people like that you can't help but give back and I really enjoyed going out in the middle, um, talking to the captains, getting in their head how they were thinking and trying to change their attitude a bit to be a bit more aggressive. When they haven't got much, that is the spirit of the game, the spirit of cricket is that quest to get better. <laughs> the bat and ball factory to me was all about teamwork and knowing your job and your role because everyone was, there was a, it was a confined space and there was a lot of people but whatever was in front of them they did it to the best of their ability then they moved on to the next task and um, to see them operate and to see the products they were producing was, was world class. I wanted to know what the spirit of cricket was all about in India, I think we found that in that factory. Who's your favourite players? Steve Orr? Yes, good answer. Well done, mate. Well said. I'm going to get cleaned up here. Cricket is a religion in India, and that's what I wanted to try and capture through the lens. And I think um, coming back has just reinforced it because um, whilst you see IPL and the guys making millions of dollars on the razzmatazz and and the adulation and the, and the love of the, from the fans. But when you get down to ground level, nothing's really changed. Um, and a lot of the people have got very little 
um, material possessions or wealth, but when they get playing a game of cricket, everyone is equal, it doesn't matter who you are, once you step out on the field, um, you're all equal and uh, you can achieve great things and you can, you can prove things to yourself, you can enjoy experiences with your friends, um, you can create memories together, so cricket to me um, is a great leveller and the spirit of cricket is going out onto the streets or onto the parks and seeing kids just make up a game with a plastic bat and a ball and uh, have the bricks for the stumps and just see how good they can be. That is the spirit of cricket.